All right, we're back here with another Friday update. And Coach, what you got going on this time? Well, we're going to do kind of the uh, baseball, Indiana baseball version of the view this week with our uh, steam panel of uh, former baseball players. I just thought with the timing, uh, spring training, and Major League Baseball kicking off, we thought that it would be, you know, people want insight to the program. We thought we would show them some of the former, uh, former Hoosiers and kind of what's going on in their lives right now as they get ready to head on to spring training. So I'd like to welcome our, uh, our panel, uh, former Hoosiers, always a Hoosier though. And I thought what we'd do is put them on the spot a little bit. So we've got Joey O'Gara, uh, he was drafted by the Florida Marlins in 2009. Mike Early was his Chicago White Sox, was on our team last year, 2010. Chris Squires was a Florida Marlin, 2010, and Josh Fagley is a Chicago White Sox, uh, 2009. So we got two organizations represented here, and these guys were kind enough to spend time with us today. But I'll start it off with this open panel, and just feel free to chime in and answer as you'd like. And uh, but just why are you guys uh, why are you guys back in town? Why why Bloomington? Well, now they're going to be. Shopping. I'd say I'd say the main reason is to work out. Uh, you got the facilities here to throw inside. Uh, being in the Midwest, you get cold weather, so it's harder to get the facilities to work out. Um, and you get a, a great weight room, so you get to work out in there. <laughs> All right. But, I mean, uh, that's kind of why I'm back. I don't know about you guys. It, it's, it's tough going through the whole season without spending time with my brothers, Jack, Ty, and Casey. So I kind of miss them, so I had to come back and visit them a little bit. And for those of you, he's referring to uh, to my kids, and I have a 13-year-old Jack, and he intellectually is on the same level as uh, John. <laughs> so, yeah. what about you guys? Why why in Bloomington? It's the uh, everything is around one spot. If I go home, I have to drive 15 minutes to eat, 15 minutes to go work out, 15 minutes to run, to throw. Everything here is all in the same spot, so you only drive. 10 minutes one time and you can get everything done before you go back home. Sounds like these guys are busy. And, and we all know Early's probably back here for the nightlife, but he's probably going to play it <laughs> off that he's here for the baseball. So, Mike, why are you back? Uh, like Joey said, just able to use the facilities and uh, mainly be able to like, throw inside and run and stuff and along. It's not like, you know, back where I'm from, you don't really got much space. So around here you get to do a lot of stuff. and. Uh, Get to hang out with my friends, see guys like him, see Josh a little too much. But. <laughs> yeah, so now where are you guys getting ready for pro ball? Where, do, where, where are the White Sox? Where are you guys training? Glendale, Arizona. So you get a little uh, Arizona time, and the Marlins are? Jupiter, Florida. Uh, that used to be the home of the Cincinnati Reds, didn't it? Or was, or was that uh, no, state? the Reds no. were in Sarasota. Sarasota. We share it with the Cardinals. Share with the Cardinals. All right. Um, well, just, hey, we're, we're keeping it with the IU theme, former IU guys. I'll ask each of uh, each of you individually. What, give me like one of your most memorable moments, Joey, at, at Indiana University. Uh, through the university or uh, oh, whatever. Athletic. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Um, I'd probably say going to the Big Ten uh, tournament. Being in Columbus, it was nice because I'm from Cincinnati. Um, so some of my friends and family came up there to Columbus uh, to see me pitch in the Big Ten tournament, and that's. Probably one of the best times I've ever pitched. So I hear that. Big Ten tournament. Big Ten Championship 2009, and that was a good moment. Oh, my goodness. Mike. Uh, this really and remember, <laughs> we're on the Internet. Here. Really sick party one time. Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'd say my most memorable moment is when uh, Tyler Cox hit that home run my sophomore year. Still got it on TiVo, still watch it. Maybe like once a month because I show all my friends. I mean... Probably one of the sickest moments I've ever been a part of. That was awesome. It still gets me going, just like thinking. I about actually it. showed some emotion at that time. Yeah, I <laughs> jumped. I heard the guy said I jumped. Yeah. I mean, the, the guy he hit that off of is, was former White yeah. Sox draftee. Wow. Did you let him know it? Did you guys let him know? I would. We, 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 we ragged on him a little bit. About it, so. <laughs> that was a great moment. I remember that well. Yeah, actually, I mean, both of them probably said the biggest two moments for all of us. Uh, but I guess this last year. <laughs> At the banquet, when I had to try and thank my parents, I think that probably kind of took the cake as like my most memorable moment. Just because every time I even think about it, it starts like I get emotional just thinking about it. Now it was there wasn't a dry of, eye in the house that day. <laughs> it's one of the hardest things I ever had to do. So <laughs> I remember that, and that yeah, that was that was meaningful. And, 
and making that presentation. And I remember talking to you, ah, it's going to be easy and whatever. And then you get up there and very emotional moment, but it was a great moment. And I'm sure your parents will, will always remember that. Um, Mr. Fagley. <laughs> well, I, I try to think back to my career here at IU, and I see I see a lot of a lot of running, a lot of lines on the football field, maybe some laps around the track. But uh, I'm definitely no stranger to Guitar Hero, and having that taken away <laughs> freshman year, taking my Xbox over to your house. And uh, that was pretty embarrassing, but uh, <laughs> well, uh, you out there off. because he played it so much, he was becoming so good at it, uh, taking time away from studies. Yeah. is probably what I'm. Yeah. So right. yeah, he was a supreme. <laughs> that, was, that was your take Supreme on it, guitar hero guy. Uh, I'll just let's put each we'll put each of you on the spot here, have a little fun here, and and really I'll go around and I just you can't say yourself, all right? Who's the most competitive out of you four? Who's the most competitive? Early. Early? Squires. Early? Squires. Oh, so we have a tie on most competitive, so we may have to have those guys. Who has, oh, here's a fun, who has the biggest ego out of this group? Oh, that's an easy one for me. Squires. Q. Early. <laughs> Squires. <laughs> so there we go. Squires. Are a who works the hardest? Who works the hardest? We'll start on this end. Squires. Early. Q. I'd say OG much. Wow. So we share the wealth there. That's a good sign we share the wealth. Who eats the most? Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> that was never in doubt. Who will never get out of baseball? Never get famous. <laughs> Fags. I also say Fags. Yeah. Say Earls. I, I get a boat, right? Yeah, Earls. we may not. Say <laughs> yeah, we, we, we laugh about it. All right, here's the last question. Who's the dirtiest, grimiest, lives the pig sty <laughs> lifestyle out of you four? Earls. <laughs> Early. Earls. Early. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. So well, that part that gives me a bad name. Unbelievable. The E. Well. <laughs> Well, I you know, wish you guys the best of luck as you get ready for spring training and, and get on with your careers. And, and I hope that uh, this was uh, uh, certainly a fun time as players. It was always good to have you guys back in, mixing up with our guys. And, and uh, best of luck with all of you. We'll be following you and looking forward to that. All right, Skip, that was fun catching up with some of the former Hoosiers. And, of course, a special thanks to them. But it's time for questions of the week, what we got going on. Well, you know, the questions pile up. We get a lot of people participating, so we'll try to knock out a bunch of them this week. But uh, this comes from Scott in Hopkinsville. Do you believe in a softer pre-conference schedule to build confidence for younger players, or do you prefer a tougher pre-conference schedule? Uh, without doubt, and look at our schedule, I think it's much more beneficial to your program to schedule a tough schedule so you can see where those holes are and things you need to work on before you get to conference play. But great question, and I hope to catch you on the road. Scott, this comes from uh, Anonymous, uh, and it's talking about Skip. How about a new stadium uh, renovation update? Well, right now we're, we're, we're right in the middle of our fundraising, but the stadium is going to happen. Fred Glass has made that the number one priority capital campaign campaign priority for our athletic department so we're on schedule to do that and I can't share too many details with you at this point but rest assured it's going to happen. Uh, this comes from Debbie from Indianapolis looking at the upcoming schedule of games I was wondering how the team goes to class gets homework done etc during the baseball season and do they have free time on the road. It's an interesting question because baseball plays a 56 game schedule in a relatively short amount of time. Truthfully that's why I'm so proud of our guys when we're pulling you know three points and close to three point as a team GPA but our guys study on the bus they uh, take their stuff on the road they do a lot of their testing and things like that before we uh, hit the road so these guys have to be organized to get things done and do they get free time on the road heck no we lock them down because we're there to play baseball but no nah, we, we we have fun with my favorite place Mall of America do the ghostly play now, the guys will tell you about that sometime this comes from Brian from Morocco. Uh, take me back to your Little League days. What coach had the most influence in your love of baseball? Can you tell us a little bit? Very good question. I had one of my favorite people of all time, a guy named Tater Blankenship. And Tater's no longer with us in, 
in, uh, uh, on this earth, but Tater's up there in the old baseball stadiums up in heaven, and just a tremendous guy, and uh, if this is the Brian, I know that it is. Uh, I think, Brian, you played for him, too, and know that he was just a remarkable guy, uh, dedicated to baseball, sound fundamentals, and just an all-around uh, great person, and uh, very, very missed, but uh, Tater passed a few years ago, actually, uh, when we were playing um, uh, a couple games, and I remember getting that news, and very devastating, but um, awesome person. Uh, as a son of a barber, what do you think works best, Grecian formula or just for men? I always love the randomness of these questions. I don't know. I've not tried either one. Brian, I will leave that up to you. Maybe you can let me know. Uh, this comes from Justin from Middletown. Will the Woodbats ever return to college baseball? You know, honestly, I don't think so because the financial impact is so great. And we've had a lot of questions on the Woodbat. How do we think the new bats are going to play uh, into the, the next season? That comes from Ross from Poway again asking about that. I think the bats are going to be a major uh, impact on baseball, but as long as it's uniform and across the board, it's the same for everybody. So, again, keep those questions coming. We love them. Make sure to let us know where you're from. Give us your name, where you're from. We'll try to address as many of those as possible. And, you know, Skip, we've talked about the gray hats on this a couple of times, show people how to get them, and the emails still keep pouring in, so we're going to do something special for them. Well, and I know this is a little longer this week, but this is. We're going to add a little special thing. We've got the gray hat again. We've had a lot of inquiries about it. what we thought. I've checked with the compliance. We're all legit here is if you email your name and your hat size and your address, where you're from, name, address, hat size, we are going to do a live drawing next Friday for one of the gray hats. It's a fitted hat. It's a beautiful model. And uh, so we'll have a little fun with that. So be sure to get us where it's a, uh, be sure to get us that. We'll do it one time. So get us your name, address, and your hat size, and we'll have that drawing next week to see who gets the free gray IU baseball hat. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.